Hey guys, Brandon back with another FM Live. Today we're gonna talk about camber. So as always, if you guys have questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, we'll get to them at the end. Uh, if for some reason we don't get to them uh, during the video, we'll get to them in the comments afterwards. So we have a new kit. We have this kit here. It's our ND offset camber bushings, I think. It's a pile of words, but they all mean things. So what these are, um, is they are eccentric bushings. So the really short version is that this is gonna give you more camber. So you may want more camber because the ND is a little bit limited uh, in the front in terms of how much camber you can uh, adjust into it. Not all people need more camber, but some do. And if you do, this is a great option. So where, we'll start first with where these install. So they install into the knuckle. So there's one right here, that's actually the, the backing plate, but there's one inside there, and there's another one, it's kind of hard to see with the brake duct in here, but there's another one right up there. So what it does, the stock parts are concentric. Uh, so, so that means that the hole is right in the middle of it. So whatever your orientation is, is not going to make any change to the camber, the caster, or the anything. These are eccentric, so they are off center. So that means that basically what we have done is we've moved the hole from here to here. And we've done that on the bottom and on the top. And doing that basically takes the whole knuckle. So if the car is going this way, front of the car is this way, the knuckle is normally like this, by using these eccentrics, we move the bottom out this way, we move the top in this way, and now you have more camber. How much camber? Um, so you have about 2.3 degrees more camber with these installed properly than you do with the stock setup. So the stock setup maxes out somewhere around one and a half degrees, and there are a lot of variables, you know, ride height, other suspension settings, all that fun stuff. But in that vicinity, uh, these same qualifiers, but these will max out about 3.8 degrees. So uh, it does, the kit comes with both sides of the car, front only, but both left and right front. And it comes with the backing washers as well. So your ball joint comes through on this side, uh, the end of it sticks through, your nut goes on, and then this washer makes it so that the, the entire top of this is still contained. So pretty straightforward. Um, they are a press fit. So they are pressed into the aluminum knuckle. These stainless steel pieces, you need to press the stock ones out and press the new ones in. This is not something that you can do with uh, uh, your play school hammer. So it's a doable thing, but you're gonna need a, going to need a press, a uh, ball joint tool, something like that, because it does take a bit of force to do. Um, so yeah, pretty straightforward, kind of. Um, so that is, that is the spiel there. Uh, now in terms of questions, we had a few questions on the front end, so I'll go through those. Uh, what is the min max camber with these um, and what's the gain over uh, stock? So again, you gain about 2.3 degrees over stock um, and that one should be reasonably accurate. Uh, the 3.8 is slightly fuzzy depending on what of your, uh, all of your settings, but you should be able to max out at a bit under four degrees, basically. Uh, pros and cons of camber adders. So we could go down a, a giant path, giant rabbit trail with that one. Um, the really short version is if you don't need more camber, you don't want these. If it's a street car, you probably don't need these. If it's a track car and you're trying to maximize uh, grip and you don't really care about tire wear and speed is your only, uh, your only goal, basically, then these can be extremely beneficial. So if you need them, they are awesome, but they're not necessarily something for everybody, if that makes sense. Is there any maintenance to worry about with these long-term? Nope. Press them in, tighten them up, there you go. 
You'll have to replace the ball joints eventually, but that's pretty much completely separate from these. You'll pop the ball joint out of these, you'll replace the ball joint uh, or the control arm, put it all back together, there you go. So no, no, no additional maintenance to worry about. Um, th this one, so this question had me a little confused. How do these compare to the Varus camber adders? So I'm assuming that you're talking about Varus Engineering, um, who are awesome guys and we sell a bunch of their parts. Varus doesn't sell anything, to my knowledge, to add camber to the front of an ND. They do sell things to add camber to the front of other cars, but those are strut type cars. Where, the, so basically the strut, the shock, is on the knuckle, they're one and the same. So where that hits the top of the car here dictates your camber. So there are plates up there that, that lay the whole shock, or strut in this case, over. And since the knuckle is attached to that, you get more camber. That is not a Miata thing. So does, does not apply. Um, and we're fortunate for it because the double wishbone is, is definitely a better high performance kind of setup. Um, so there, there are some other options uh, out there, um, only the bottom mounts, uh, which is the same concept, or, but quite a bit less in terms of the amount of uh, camber that you can get out of it. Uh, one of the things to be aware of is that if you, if you tip only the top of the knuckle in, what you're doing is you're rolling the, the top of the tire in towards the suspension. So depending on the diameter of your spring and the width of your tire and all that kind of stuff, you may actually be shooting yourself in the foot because you may be getting more camber, which is great, but now your tire actually rubs on the spring. There are a lot of qualifiers in there, but that's something to be aware of if you only move the top in. So we move the top in a little bit, we move the bottom out more, and that means that the, um, it does get a little bit closer to the spring, but not enough to be a real big concern unless you're, you're way out there, so. Um, and then their eccentric uh, control arm bushings, those can be good. In the past, um, we have had slip in those, so our camber settings don't stay, so we're a little gun shy, but maybe they'll work. Uh, okay, are these good for a street car? Yes, are they necessary for a street car? Maybe, depends on your use and goals and all that fun stuff. Um, will these hold up to race abuse? Yes. Um, so if not, please reach out to us, but yeah, you should be fine there. Will these cause more bump steer? So theoretically, no, realistically, there's going to be a very slight change in the geometry. So there might be a little bit of change in bump steer. I don't think it's any, anything that anyone would notice. Um, but we have not run the numbers on that. So I don't know hundred percent, but I, it's not a thing I would be real concerned about. Okay, will these cause any NVH? Uh, no, or certainly no, mo no more NVH. Um, these are the exact same as the stock pieces, just with a hole in a different place. So the stock pieces are solid mount. It's not like we're taking a rubber bushing and we're replacing it with a Delrin or, or you know, a spherical ball bearing or something like that that's very, very solid and has no give in it. The stock parts don't have any give to start off with, so no change. Uh, why are there no rear camber adders? So there are some out there. We don't sell any. Uh, the, the front was a place that we decided to focus on because it, there are lots of layers in alignments and lots of ideas and lots of different requirements for different applications and, and that kind of thing. Uh, but the front was a little more critical in our view, at least to start off with. So there's that. Okay, and that is all the questions I have ahead of time. Mike, do we have questions? Theoretically, if we didn't want all 2.3 degrees, could you just install the lowers? Sure, so question, Mike's not far away this time, so you may have heard that, but can you just install the lowers? Sure, no problem. Yep, you can absolutely do that. Um, we don't sell them separately, so you will still get the uppers. But you can also step your way to it. You can install the, the lowers, see what kind of camber you get. If that's not enough, then you can install the uppers and get uh, all 2.3 degrees more. So yeah, 
no problem with that. And that is it. Okay, easy enough. As always, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you guys come up with questions, put them in the comments. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, and all that fun stuff. Uh, and we will be back on uh, Thursday, next Thursday, as always. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks. Thanks.